right? So cumulative oil production map will be an indicator that helps you to identify which area that you can use for infill drilling, okay? And lastly, let's say we want to make a limit for our map so that it can make the visualization better. We can do that by go to format and then select this one, add. It will define a grid area to limit the scope of calculations, okay? Why calculation? Because in greeting map, you always perform calculation. The calculation here is actually extrapolation, okay? So you have data, in this case, cumulative oil production data from each well, and the software will perform extrapolation to predict, to calculate the variable, the value for the variable at area that has no well. Like, for example, here, this area has no well. So it means this area doesn't have data, but it has value. Where does the value come from? It comes from the extrapolation. Okay, so you have data from O27, B2, O15, O1, okay, surrounding this spot, this area, and then using the data from the adjacent well, the software will perform extrapolation as the calculation to predict what is the value here. Okay, and then the extrapolation result, which is the value, the predicted cumulative oil production potential at this spot will help you to identify which area, which spot that will potentially have the highest cumulative oil production if you put infill drilling there. Okay, so again, back to here, at define a grid limit or define a grid area to limit the scope of calculations. So let's make the limit. Okay, let's say I want to start the limit here, touch that, and then make the limit. Okay, maybe like this. Maybe like this, and then right click, click on done. Okay, everything else outside the limit that I created will be colored white and they will not be used for the extrapolation. They will not be used for computation. So we only perform the calculation, the extrapolation within this limit that I created before. Okay, so yeah, it's like this. You can also again change the limit. Let's say clear and then done. Okay, and then make limit like this. So we will exclude those wells, okay? Like this, right click and click on done. All right. So this is how you create a grid map and then you create or you generate some limit lines, okay? From those lines, you create the boundary, the limit that will limit your grid map computation, your grid map extrapolation. All right, so this is how you create grid map, the cumulative oil production map in OFM. And this tool is, you know, useful for you to, to be used as indicator to identify area at which you can perform in field drilling. All right, so I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next OFM videos. Thank you.